Openness to exploration is made up of the categories imagination, artistic interests, emotionality, adventurousness, intellect and liberalism. To imaginative individuals, the real world is often too plain and ordinary. High scores on this scale use fantasy as a way of creating a richer, more interesting world. Low scores on this scale are more oriented to facts than fantasy. High scores on artistic interests love beauty both in art and in nature. They become involved and absorbed in artistic and natural events. They are not necessarily artistically trained nor talented, although many will be. They are interested in and appreciate natural and artificial beauty. Low scores lack aesthetic sensitivity and interests in arts. People high in emotionality have good access to an awareness of their own feelings. Low scores are less aware of their feelings and tend not to express their emotions. High in adventurousness are eager to try new activities, travel to foreign lands and experience different things. They find familiarity and routine boring and will take a new route home because it's different. Low scores tend to feel uncomfortable with change and prefer familiar routines. Intellect and artistic interest are central aspects of openness to experience. High scores on intellect love to play with ideas. They are open-minded to new and unusual ideas and like to debate intellectual issues. They enjoy riddles, puzzles and brain teasers. Low in intellect prefer dealing with either people or things rather than ideas. They regard intellectual exercise as a waste of time. Intellect should not be equated with intelligence. Intellect is an intellectual style, not an intellectual ability. High in intellect scores slightly higher than low intellect individuals on IQ tests. Psychological liberalism refers to a readiness to challenge authority, convention and traditional values in its most extreme form. Psychological liberalism can even represent outright hostility towards rules. Sympathy with lawbreakers and a love for ambiguity, chaos and disorder. Psychological conservatives prefer the security and stability brought by conformity to traditions. Psychological liberalism and conservatism are not identical to political affiliation, but certainly have an incline individuals towards certain political parties. 